We are live! Welcome! Welcome to the studio, Debbie Studio. No, I'm messing. Um, yeah, welcome everyone. I can see some people in the chat already. So nice to see you there. We have like really cool people uh, like Randy. And, oh, I've got volume on now. I've got to mute this. I need to remember how to do these things. Mute site. There we go. Now I won't hear myself twice. That's cool. <laughs> um, Okay, so we are ready to go live. And what are we going to be doing today? We are going to be learning how to use Nuxt and Prismic. So if you don't know how to use Prismic, don't worry, because I don't either. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So let me introduce the person who knows a lot more about Prismic than me, hopefully. Uh, everyone, let's welcome Lucy. Hey. <laughs> hey, everyone. <laughs> Lucy, do you want to tell people a little bit about yourself? I mean, I've just said you, you're called Lucy and I said you work at Prismic, but do you want to introduce a little bit about yourself and what Prismic is? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, hey everyone. So, I'm, well, thanks for having me here. And, okay. well, I'm Lucy. I work as a DevX engineer at Prismic. And, well, I'm a next gal, just like Debbie. <laughs> so, yeah, I enjoy a lot, like working with Vue.js, Next.js, and, well, a lot of things. And I'm also still wrapping up my studies. So, like, wrapping up my, CS degree this year and well hopefully next year next starting to work for real. <laughs> Lucy's incredible. Like, Lucy's still studying. She's like a student and 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 is working at the same time. That's, and that is really, really, really impressive. I think you are very lucky to live in the country you live in that offers that kind of um way of working yeah. and studying at the same time. Mm -hmm. so That's really cool. Yeah, and well, as you decided to say, it's uh, Debbie like today I'm here doing some Prismic. And well, what is Prismic? Prismic is a hosted headless CMS. So like if you joined Debbie last week, you had a glimpse at what headless CMS is, where it's trappy. And well, Prismic <laughs> is just another headless CMS around. Just like, another one. It's just another one, yeah. <laughs> well, it's not another one, but like it. But, like, <laughs> You're not telling very well, Lucy. <laughs> Yeah, well, like every CMS has its point con. Like the strap is like a hosted CMS mainly, so you have to host it yourself on your site. Prismic is a self-hosted CMS, so we take care of all the hosting scaling of your Prismic CMS. So that's like another approach to a less CMS. So, well, yeah, and like, well, what is a less CMS? Like a less CMS again is um, an interface for your uh, marketer, edit content writer, editor, like to write content, and you define this interface for them. And then it gives you a REST API or GraphQL API that you can query and use this content in like whatever website you're building or even application or like anything that you want to build like using uh, JSON stuff. We got that question in here. Yeah? Why Prismic and not and Agolia or Strapi? I think you pretty much just answered that, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and well, Agolia is not a, a CMS. Like it's a search engine tool thing. I, I don't know really how to pitch it. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, well, it's going to be fun because you know me, Lucy. I am a massive fan of Next Content. My whole website is built with Next Content. Next Content is a Git-based headless CMS. That means I just go into my terminal and I just like you know I create my Markdown files and then just Git push and it's all there, right? So, and I think WordPress threw me off the whole CMS of things because I had so many years of bad experience at WordPress. So I'm kind of like, you know, what are you going to give me that's not WordPress and going to be horrible and oh, I don't want that experience. So. <laughs> is it going to be a good experience? Yeah, <laughs> you'll see. Well, yeah, we'll see. Like we worked a lot on, on our workflow, and I think like you're gonna like it. <laughs> but of course, like well, Prismic can be used for like personal website. I use it for my blog, uh, and I used it before joining Prismic, so that's not like because I'm Prismic that I'm using it for my blog. And uh, but yeah, like next content like streets a lot of developers, and that's fine. Like you're Prismic, like well, you yeah. can like build websites that are addressed like to non-technical users that cannot use next content. So well, there's a place for that in our world. There's no technical <laughs> in the world today. Come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is there not? <laughs> 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 so we have some uh, really cool people here in the chat from like many countries in the world. It's really impressive. Kenya, Sudan, uh, Mexico, um, really amazing. It's so great to see you all here and thank you for joining Montreal. We have like, wow, time zone all over the world. Yeah. Uh, very cool. Um, probably even Japanese, I could be wrong here, but um, yeah, we've got some very cool people here. So welcome. If you have any questions, throw them in the chat. I will get to them. Um, it's just, you know, I've got to read things at the same time and do things. So. Just bear with me and we will get there, but do ask questions away. So Lucy, should we start coding? 
Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, let's jump to the color. And let's see if this works. I really hope I'm, I'm probably gonna mess this up. I always mess this part up. Watch this. Does it work? Yeah. Yes, it works. Yeah, oh it God, works. I figured it out how to change the screen. <laughs> Great. I rock. So <laughs> what we have right now is uh, well, just like a, a Nuxt app that we just created using npx. What's well, the create Nuxt app tool? So like you can like create well something similar really easily. Uh -huh. And like you have it running already, right? Yeah, I've pretty much got, that's it. So just a basic uh, Nuxt app or create Nuxt app. And the only thing I added was Tailwind because I love Tailwind and I just in case we great. need to add anything. Um... I, I was about to suggest that, so that's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like we'll do some like light styling, but like it will go, it will go fast. Okay, so yeah, like the first thing that we need to do is to like, is on like, uh, well, well, we will kill our Nuxt app right now. Like we need to access our terminal to run some command before. <laughs> Okay, so what do I need to do? Oh, kill it. Uh, oh, yeah, you kill. can. Oh. Yeah, like we'll okay. take it on live, like in a few, but <laughs> for now, oh, like I we should, don't. I should make my screen bigger. I'm sorry, I didn't do this earlier. So you see, I knew I didn't do everything. Um, and you're all probably looking at going, Debbie, it's too small. So <laughs> yeah, if you ever want to know how to like make your screen bigger, this is what you do. And then what happens is, um, it goes, whoa, for me, it's like really wow. big. For you, it's like really nice, <laughs> but for me, it's like, oh my God, I can't see anything. And I have to like almost, you know, put binoculars on. Um, but there we go. So let me just clear that. Okay. Uh, it's a bit like overflowing with our camera, but yeah, great. <laughs> no, okay, worry. so I'll, I'll throw the whole thing over there. Just it's just. Um... Okay, so you you are using uh, yarn, Debbie, right? I am, yes, I'm a yarn fan. Okay, yeah. So the the first thing you need to do, like you know, to work with Prismic is to install like Prismic CLI. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So it's yarn glo well global add. Like if you want to add it like globally because it's CLI, so you don't want to ship it with your project. Well, that's up to you. You can add it locally if you want to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It, 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 well, yarn does well. NPM uses the iPhone iPhone global flag with yarn. It's just global, if I remember correctly. I don't like yep. doing global stuff on my computer. It's like, you never know what's going to stay there forever. It's okay. Yeah, you're in global. <laughs> <laughs> and then add, well, yeah. to add a dependency. And then it, it's, it's Prismic hyphen CLI. Prismic hyphen yeah, CLI. CLI? Yep. Let's do it. So this, this will install like Prismic uh, locally, well, on, globally on our computer. And well, we take like not too much time, hopefully. <laughs> And you should never worry about all these warnings. That's just something that developers never really consider looking at, and it's all good. So yeah. if you ever come across this, like it's fine, right? Uh, as, as long as there's no error, like that's all right. Yeah. <laughs> if, it, if it's yellow, it's good, or yellowy green, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what have we got from Brazil and everything. We got Brazil, Cambodia, like uh, Haiti. We oh my gosh, we are like international. How many people are here? Oh my gosh, this is so cool. <laughs> Yeah, there's a uh, Randy asking like uh, that last time you used uh, the Prismic module, there was a, a toolbar that you couldn't remove. That's probably Prismic toolbar. And well, if we have time to Google and counter the Prismic toolbar, and that's something that you can remove uh, to some extent. That's something that Prismic is adding when you are like it detects you being like uh, an, an administrator of the website. Okay, someone's saying my mic is low compared to Lucy. It's probably because I move so much. Um... Oh. Let me see. I don't. I, I don't know. Okay, so it looks like like we managed to install Prismic. I don't know like what why it is talking about Strapi, but perhaps like we can check like if Prismic has been installed globally like by running Prismic iPhone iPhone version. Okay, let me just see if I can zoom yep. up the mic a little bit on this setting. Oh, 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 I can lower mine if you want to. Yeah. Okay, let me just clear this. Um. Oh, we got the engine node is incompatible with this module. Is that what you just said? Yeah, but it's great strappy app, so I don't know why what it has to do with this. See today. when you globally install things on your <laughs> thing, you see what happens? Strappy <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> okay. So well let us know if the audio is better. Uh, I can lower mine if needed. Um so yeah, like try typing like Prismic iPhone iPhone version if we can see something. Great. So well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have a worker on source that uh, I don't. NPM global. No. Yep. Uh, yeah, you can try that. If well, we can try that. Yep. Um, install. Yep. And Prismic Uh, I think Yep. 
Yeah, because I have NVM installed, so it does all that kind of stuff. Yeah, well, and well, last case scenario first for burn installing the CLI on your side, we install it like locally so we can like still use it. Uh, dun, dun, okay. Dun, okay. Great, looks like it succeeded this time, so we can run again Prismic version. Did this short? No, it's iPhone, iPhone. Okay, well, it works. Well, okay. we have it at okay. least. Okay. Well, it's, yeah, it's, it's on my system, so that's the most important thing. <laughs> Great. And well, now what we need to do is to create a, a Prismic account. So to do that, you can run like Prismic sign up. Prismic sign up? Yep. In one word. Yep. And then it will guide you through creating a Prismic account. Email. You want my email now? Yeah. Yeah, we want your email so we can send you mail, spam, and everything. So you don't forget about Prismic. No, no worries. Like the email is just like, well, we inform you like about what's going on with your Prismic account when you create something, but like we, we don't get spammy. <laughs> okay, there you go. Don't send me Yay. emails, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a Prismic account, great. We already have a Next application running. So well, the next step for us is just to init Prismic within this Next application. So are we already in the, yeah, we are already in the next application, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. I think so. Okay. So now we will run a command that will like bootstrap uh, all Prismic development kit inside our next application automatically. And then we'll go through like what has been done for us. And like, well, we will see like some next part going on. Does that sound all right, Debbie? So say that again, what do you want me to do? Yeah, we will bootstrap, well, we run a command yep. that is Pris Prismic. Uh, space S M. Yeah, this stands for slice machine, and then space, and then we have iPhone iPhone setup. Okay, I'm guessing so that all have... these are like documented somewhere, and it's easy for people to find. Them. Yeah, no these are I've been calling them every day. <laughs> <laughs> so like today, Debbie is cheating because she has me here, but yeah. like all of that is documented like on our documentation for Next mm -hmm. And yeah, well, looks I like it's I hope my mic well. is louder now, so let me know if it isn't. I've moved it around a little bit, so. Yeah, there's a spaghetti. Well, there's Florent asking like for npx. Uh, yeah, well, npx is a tool like to execute script directly from the npm registry. It's a well shortcut like to just install. Well, execute hey, script is not installing <laughs> them. <laughs> hey, Micho. <laughs> okay. So well, this, well, the um, the Prismic setup account like is doing a lot of things. Like it's quite a smart account because like it detects like if you're running a Next application or if you're running a Next.js application. Well, it's like doing a lot of things. Like trying its best to like install like everything within your project to like get you like up and running like really fast. Okay. Oh, right. name your repository. What we gonna okay. call? Okay. So this is our Prismic repository. So it's not our GitHub repository, it's a repository it's on Prismic. So basically like it's the endpoint of your content uh, online within Prismic. So we need like a unique name here so we can call it like uh, Debbie and Lucy live stream, I don't know. Debbie Lucy. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps this will work. Like if it's unique, that should be if fine. If someone else has that name, I will be very angry. <laughs> Great, like it worked. <laughs> be next steps not next steps <laughs> <laughs> yeah like we are on the like <laughs> personalized <to> this but <laughs> okay so cool. this already did a lot of things inside our project uh, the main thing that it did if we can like pick at our next config.js file is that it installed the prismic uh, module okay let me just close the terminal so we can see things a bit better yeah. Uh, so like if you scroll away. down to module, like here we go, like we Ooh, have the next. There's Debbie and Lucy. Yep. <laughs> and well, basically like we have like Prismic as a next module, like pretty much everything on the internet now. And like this module, like just in like few configuration, like um, option, like to, to be like already like usable for you, like within uh, your next application. So here it also like configure like the endpoints that we pick together with Debbie. And well, that's pretty much it. <laughs> cool. um, okay, so next thing we need to do is like we need to run another command because like what I'm gonna show you today is like the new workflows that we are working on with new. Prismic. This is like new, new, like 
first time. But, well, that's to some extent, you know, like, that's something that we've been like talking about for a while, but like it's in like the canary version of Prismix. So okay. yeah, just a, a quick like, well, we will run the account that I will do the click disclaimer when it's running. So we the thing that we need to add right now is storybook. And like to add that again, like we have an help command. So it's Prismix SM. Yep, SM again stands for slice machine. And then it's iPhone, iPhone, add iPhone storybook. iPhone, well, yeah, in one word, yep. Storybook. Storybook. Yep. And so we can launch that. This will add storybook to our project. And yeah, that's the time for the like little disclaimer. So what we're going to work on with David today is like the canary version of Prismic. So that's like an announced workflow for developer to work with the headless CMS. But it's not like already like, it's not like still like really production ready. Like there's a few things missing from like Prismic, like legacy, let's say. And there's like some like hiccups and like still like some bugs like here and there, like uh, that may impact like the developer experience, but still like this is like getting better and better day after day. And like the team is working really hard on it. And that's basically like a hands workflow in order to build your website ready uh, for uh, being used alongside the less CMS. And the approach that we're taking at Prismic is called like well, slices and well, slices are like website sections. So when you build a website, like you have a error section, this is a website section. Then you have like a subscribe to newsletter section, for example, this is another section of your website. And most of the time when you're building a website, like you, you're always like thinking like in terms of sections. So like we want to build a errors and you want to build like a list of articles and you want to build like a footer with a, yeah, I, I don't really know. But yeah, like we, we noticed that like this is all like, most developers are working on like their website right now. And so this workflow is all made on what we call slices. So slices are like website section. And like, so you, with this workflow, you are able like to build um, your website section after section, and then you will give all the section to Prismic and Prismic will make the section editable for the content editor. So the content editor will be able like to say like, okay, like on this page, I want like your error section. And then I want like a list of like uh, product, and then I want like a subscribe to newsletter section, and that's my page basically. Okay. Okay. So I I don't know if this was clear. Uh, that was clear, but was I just clear. I just went error can't resolve slices, and it's like oh, yeah, yeah, and this error this error is expected. No worries. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, more or less the only error that is expected today. Okay. 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 So if we get this error, you're okay. If we get another error. Run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So we will like right now, like. <laughs> no, don't yeah, be because like error. it's okay. <laughs> basically, basically, what what happened right now is that we added storybook to our website, mm -hmm. and like uh, it, it tried to start storybook right after, but because like there's no like component yet, like it uh, it crashed. Mm -hmm. So we just need like to kill the storybook server again, like just like the so next turn, like we don't need it yet. Okay. This is what happens we when you live on right. the edge, right? When you start doing edge technology and new things, it's always <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, cool. So, yeah, you, you oh, can there's, there's, a, there's a question here you might want to. Um... Oh, can I? Can ask... I be college manager? Mm. Oh, uh, okay. So you're asking like, can I build college management system with multiple rules based login? I'm not sure. I fully get the. I don't either. Extend the question, yeah. but you, uh, I think I could. Add a little bit more context to that, then we could. Answer. Yeah, it, it looks like a bit advanced for CMS, like for, because like I don't know if like well, mm -hmm. even like if you can elaborate, I will happily yes. like uh, try my best okay. to answer. Okay, cool. Okay, so uh, did we kill the storybook server running? Do we what? 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 We can, again? Like well, right now like on the console, there's storybook running well with a failed error, so we just yeah. need like to stop this server. Okay. Which. Yeah. Great. Okay, so well. Now what we need to do is to create our first like website section, like I pitched them earlier. So we need like to figure out like a, a section to build together. So I don't know. Well, as I told you, maybe I try to look like for a cool tech on the website before starting. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I failed at this task because like tech on the website are, are a bit still old schoolish. Like we need to, well, developers need to get through them to like, give them some polish. I, I think. built loads of them all in WordPress. Seriously, <laughs> like my whole curriculum was Taekwondo websites built in WordPress. <laughs> yeah. So what what I suggest we do is perhaps like we will just try to be like a simple error section and like if the chat has any idea first like on what to film it like we will try our best to film it like this way. Does that sound all right? 
Okay, cool. And you can see here, everyone, that that was added to yep. the config, um, the stories. Um, that's cool. Okay. Yep. Okay. So, well, um, that's great that you are on the next config right now. We need just to remove one line that has been added and that we don't need it. So if you can like scroll up a bit like it, I think it's on like line 32, like when to remove the CSS file, yeah, line 40, yeah. Like, we, well, basically like when you, line 40, when you, um, when you kickstart Prismic inside your project, it has like a, like a, a default like CSS file that we don't need. So we can just like, yeah. Okay, we can delete it, this so you, so you don't have to like, um, so you can still have that CSS array in case you want to add your own yeah, style. Yeah, and but like, I'm just, yeah, and we'll be using Tailwind today with Davis, so uh, like we don't need like a plain old CSS file. <laughs> and it's SAS as well, so you'd have to add SAS load and stuff, right? Uh, that has been added also, yeah. You, but you like, already you added SAS for me, and I don't want SAS. Seriously, <laughs> yeah, I, I I I know. Like, well, let's get like we did not add SAS, but it's a default library which also comes with SAS, so it's added. But like we are like looking for one, like maybe like we can like skip this step. Well, anyway. Okay. But like this one, our project, and like uh, okay, <laughs> so let's create our first like website section, okay. and like to create it again, like we need to uh, open the console to launch a, a sneaky command. Yeah, yeah, we did. We, we do a lot of things with the console. That's because You're like turning well, it... into a backend developer. <laughs> 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 So we are doing a lot of things with the console because like, the Prismic CLI is quite powerful and like allows you like to get like really quickly like, like developing things. So like we have a lot of like um, generator for a lot of things. And so this time we need to launch a Prismic SM command. Prismic what? And Prismic S, uh, space uh, SM uh, again like or it's always SM for space machine and then it's iPhone iPhone create. Yep. iPhone slice. Slice. Okay. And we, yep. And we can launch that. So this will create our first website section in our project. We're creating a slice of pizza, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's like our fun year because like when we run like product meetup with Prismic, like we give everyone voucher so they can buy actually yeah, slice I of know. pizza. Yeah, I know. Wednesday. <laughs> 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 it's like Prismic feeds me once a month. It's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we. Yes, <laughs> we launched the create slice command and it now it prompts us for which like directory wants it to be created. So we'll use the default at slice directory. So just like a, a bucket where we store like all our website sections for our website. So we can like select this one. Look, and now we I need, told you we need to give me pizza. You got me pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so and now you need to give it a name. So we are bringing like your hero section. So perhaps simple hero works. I don't know. Like it needs to be two words and like in Pascal case. So like uh, with like, sorry, uh, it's like with a, yeah, but with a capital T, I think. Should know that, shouldn't I? No, sorry. <laughs> I, I'm not reading <laughs> things. I'm just pressing buttons. I don't read. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. And, the pizza well, and my eyes went over to the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. okay, and here we go. Like it created, uh, a, 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 well, it created like a folder inside our slices directory. So like you can see on the on the on the on not on the slice <laughs> not on the sides, <laughs> we have like your slices directory that has been created can first. I click, and can, I click, can I click? Can I click? Uh, no, you cannot click. What? <laughs> <laughs> you can't well, use it, it right away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's a nice sketch that I will fo follow to the team because, like, <laughs> that's some super legacy uh, prompt here. <laughs> like, it's, it, uh, it hasn't been created yet uh, in Prismic. We need first, like, to work a bit with it. Okay. okay. And so, like, we can see, like, on the, sli on the, on the side, <laughs> we have, like, a, a slices directory, and inside it, we'll, we'll find, like, our, we like, have a um... oh, we have a slices directory. Yeah. And inside oh it, gosh, we have and a the error. You're my hero. I've got a story and everything. You've done all the yeah, and like, these files contain like a lot of like information about like your website section. Gosh. So like it has the index.view component, which is like the component, the, the website section component itself. So yeah, like we have some uh, like uh, default like setup, and along with it, like there's multiple files. Sorry, I'm just like speaking a lot and no, catching no, no, on I'm, my. I'm like, I'm like going, oh my gosh, look at all this is created for me. Like, this is cool. I've got mocks and everything. Yeah. 
And so, yeah, like there's a model JSON file. This one is like the model for the CMS. So that's like the part of CMS. We don't deal with this one like on our own. So don't worry, like it looks complicated, but we don't have to touch it ourselves. There's a tool for that. And along with it, there's also a mock.json file. So this, this mock is like some like dummy data that you can use while developing your website. So you don't have to get like back and forth with the CMS and like filling it like with dummy data. So you can like see like, okay, like uh, with, the, with, the, with the, an actual like, image, like, this is what it looks like. We generate mock for you. So you, so like you can like just like as a developer, like keep working on your, uh, on your project. And there is also like uh, an index.stories.js file, which is um, like a storybook stories. And like it's, it is meant for you like to be able like to develop your project uh, within storybook. So you are working on your website section in isolation and like that's like a workflow that we like to embrace. Very cool. Okay, so. Okay. And now like comes like, uh, like again, like we need like to some terminal now. <laughs> 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 Don't worry, like we'll get to code like really like quite fast, but like you we did like to I want to work in Nooks and you just want me to work in the terminal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, like as I said, like rest of model JSON file and this file is complicated. Like you don't like you need like some like training to deal with it on your own. I myself I don't know how to deal with it on my own because like this is like some complicated syntax and to like to deal with complicated syntax, we need to launch a server. And to launch it, this is like Prismic SM hyphen hyphen develop. Hyphen hyphen develop or dev? Yep, develop. Yep. Dun, 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 dun. So this may prompt you something, and you can you can hit yes or no. Like this won't have any effect for us. Yet. Yes or no? It just it's all the same. <laughs> I like it. Uh, no, <laughs> we're like gonna give if, you if what we're gonna get. So just, just <laughs> choose what you want, but we'll give you what we want. <laughs> like because like we didn't have like any slices before. Like this doesn't have a It's just like a, a minor migration script. So you can like so people that were you're like uh, some time ago like can still use it correctly. Okay. And okay, this open and UI. And no, like last time we need to use the terminal, Debbie, I promise. <laughs> we can, <laughs> can, can, can you open another tab in your terminal? Like keep this uh, running and have another tab. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Okay. And in this second tab. I'm just laughing at <laughs> localhost 9999. It's like, you know, it's like, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's server it, 9000. <laughs> okay. And in this one, we need to run a uh, Yarn Storybook to launch a Storybook server. And there's a Schley asking me for my Twitter. Uh, it's li and underscore hpr. I can type it in the chat well, if you want. Yeah, type it in the chat. Me. It's probably easier. Yeah. So has... yeah, you can I find me type here it on terminal, Lucy. But you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so this time, the book should not fail. Okay. Hopefully. Like <laughs> <laughs> last time was a expected bug. Like this time, like it, this is something but... Prismic just built this morning, a new edition, and like they're testing it out on me live on air, right? <laughs> Yeah, we're doing like a user testing with Debbie uh, on yeah. live channel. Like that's yeah, our way, like to test terrible. the. <laughs> Yay! So it's working. We and here we go. Like we have like our really like basic uh, website sections that well has been like bootstrap at first, yeah. and that's great. We we are on Chrome right now because like you can open another tab on Chrome. Yeah. And you can go to a uh, localhost uh, nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Nine 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 nine. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. <laughs> it's taking very long. Oh, yeah, it's taking long. <laughs> like, uh, I'm not doing well right now. <laughs> okay, no, it's Yay, working. <laughs> no, no, I got it. it was the live stream. It just had like. Yeah. Oh, no, it. it, it, it <laughs> I, 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 I will shamelessly blame the cold start of this. <laughs> <laughs> um. Here we go. Like we are like on a, some kind of like editor that will well we will see like basically in this editor like we can edit like our slices so our website sections oh, that I are. Oh, I see a button. Can I press this? Yay! Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So we have a dark mode again. Like I really like it because like it's like dimmed and everything. No. So you 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 don't, <laughs> you don't hurt your eyes on it. <laughs> and. Well, this UI is like the new like Prismic UI that will allow you like to um, do the content modeling uh, on your uh, on your website slices, so like website section. So here we created the the error slice, and we can like add inside it by clicking it right here, like here. Yep. And here, what we have is like we have like the 
content like model of like these faces. So right now, like by default, we just have like a title and a description, but like we might be like, yeah, you can like peek at it. <laughs> That's <laughs> all right. Patient. It's like, I just want to play with it, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> and so like, this is like a basic title field. So you can only like have a, an H1 and then like you can like edit the placeholder, the API ID, which is like Ooh, the key in okay, the so JSON should... object. Yep. And this will like allow like your content writer to pick like between an H2 and an H3 and everything. So well, most of the time like it's not a great idea to let them like pick the title level because like they will tend to put H1 everywhere and that's not great. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, like you can like pick like the heading level that you find with, and like you can like customize Oops. placeholder and, and everything like just like with like uh, any less CMSs I guess and like or with SCF uh, on uh, WordPress. Like well. Most people are familiar with that. Like, if you're not, like, that's quite easy to get started with, I think. Mm -hmm. And what we also bring is that, like, I mean, like, before, like, we, as you, as we saw, like, there's, like, a, a mock.json file, and there's, and, and there's, like, a mock config tab at the top of the field configuration. Like, you have, like, the field model tab that we are on the field model tab, and there's a mock config aside of it. And here, like, we just introduced that, like, uh, three weeks ago or something, well, a month ago. And basically, like we allow, well, we start a lot of people like to customize like the way mock are because, like for example, like first, like you on a really long like paragraph is like a, like just like a blog post. Like, you want like uh -huh. a, I don't know, like ten paragraphs. So we want like to let users be able to edit that. But for a uh, section, we just want like one paragraph. Like we don't want like a. A whole blog post in our era. So this like is a tab that allows you like to customize the way that we are generating mocks for your component. Okay. So while well, we don't well for like it's not like really impressive on the title film because like a yeah, title is a right. title. <laughs> but like yeah, like we will add like what we can do, like you can save if you want. Okay. Like right now. But there's a save button at the bottom left, like it's a bit hidden by your camera, yeah. but like well, you will notice it. <laughs> and what we can do right now is to add an image field because like in Aero there's a, an image most of the time. And uh, to add, add an image. image. Okay. Add yeah. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I must guide you from us. Well, well, I must guide you. <laughs> guide you. So yeah, like there's a plus button, like like <laughs> a big plus floating like plus button. And this like allows us to like pick an image field. Okay. And now what it prompts us is for the API ID, so the key in the JSON field. So we can call it like error image that works. And then we can click add and boom, we have an image field on our on our component. Okay. Now again, like if we want to, like we can like edit it. There's a lot of more. Like, there's a lot of customization for an image. Like you can pick, like, we can decide like the size of your image. If you want a square, if you want like something else, like a lot of constraints. You can also like pick mock for it. So you know, like it can become Ooh. funny if we want to. Okay. Um, let let me know if like there's anything like that sounds weird or like if I must like go in depth in something. <laughs> or yeah, that's, how do I, or, how like, do I actually add like... the image? So so this is like editing. Okay. Like... So, I want, I want to add so, okay. So like this UI is not like a UI for content writer. This UI is a UI for developers. So as a developer, when you're building, <laughs> no, that's all right, baby. <laughs> I wasn't clear enough. So <laughs> this UI is like a tool for developers that allows you like to build the content modeling of your okay. website. So like you say like, okay, I have a error section. In this error section, I want a title. I want a description. I want mm -hmm. a CTA. I want a, like a CTA is like a, like a label and a link. And I want an image for my error section. Yeah. So you're saying, you're just coming the shape of like your error section with okay. fields. And later on, we'll push those fields to Prismic and our editor will be able like to uh, input content in it. But right now, like we are developer. We don't want like to input content in it. The only things that we can like do like content right here is like to define the, the shape of our mocks so we don't have like to input okay. content ourselves and we can just focus on like developing a website section because mm -hmm. that's our job as developer. I, I don't know, like there's a lot that's of the good, like, that's good. Let, like let the marketing well, people put the image, right? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and well uh again, like if you if you edit like the configuration of the error image field that we just added. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we add to the mock uh, config. Like this time, it's more interesting because uh, we uh, we can Ooh, pick like image. Look at yeah. this. We have images. <laughs> this is cool. we, we can we, we we can pick images from Unsplash, and those images are just like wow. again like those images aren't content that will end up on our website, but just like um, oh my gosh, let's go for here. Wow. He looks yeah, good. yeah. So that that's just like uh, mock content that we will use while developing in order like to have like an as accurate as possible idea of what uh, our website will look like. Okay. Um, so yeah, like we already like 
Well, what are the fields that we need for our error section? Uh, we have a title description. We have an image. Uh, we might want to add a CTA. Description. This is a description. Yep. We can leave that so, inside. And inside, if we just have a paragraph, that's all right. And now, like, what we might need, like, to add a, uh, a key text field. So, like, well, right now there's a, a glitch in the UI. Like, you can scroll because like, there's some overflowing on. So, if you like, de zoom a bit. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, it's not really responsive yet. Like, we we that's something that needs to be improved. Like, if in you can de zoom out, in order to actually zoom out. Yeah, thing. yeah. Here we go. <laughs> so. We want to do a CTI. So a CTI is just like a button with a, a, a label and a link. So we will add a key text field. It's like at the bottom right. Okay, so a key right. text is like a rich text field, but like without any fancy formatting going on. So it's just like a plain text. Like a, you will get a string out of it. And we can call it a CTI uh, label. I don't know. Great. And we can add a link now because, like, with, with the CTA, we need a link. In here? No. Okay. <laughs> so I'm, I'm really sorry. I can't do such a bad job at getting here. <laughs> so, well, we added a field, which is the key text field, and this will add the label of our CTA. And the next field, well, now we need a link for this for this field for this CTA. So we also add a link field. So it's a bottom, yeah, top. Okay. Yeah, okay. Right okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. <laughs> Is it the link for the and, CTA? Yeah. Yep. Okay. This is the link for the CTA. Okay. okay. We can add it. And now, like, perhaps, like, now, like, we are happy with our, like, uh, content modeling. Like, well, we can go back later on on this, like, if we need more fields for our hero section. But, like, if we're happy with it, we can save it to file system. Okay. And that's, like, on our, on the right. That's that There's, big like, button here. Yeah. And we exactly. don't have to worry about this like screenshot or anything like that. No, what is that? Uh, it, it, it should take one for us uh, oh, okay. when saving. It's going to be magic. Because like, yeah, it's a bit magic. <laughs> I like magic. Could not load image. Uh, come on, come on, image. Whoa, there we go, there whoa. we go. <laughs> and well, that's a snapshot of our component so far. So that's like the default one that we have in Storybook. We will come oh. here later on to, to take a better snapshot of our component once we did like some styling to it and everything. OK, cool. OK, so now we will do some next, finally. <laughs> Show me the code. <laughs> yeah, so we can add to the um, to like the hero, like the section, like to the index.view uh, component. OK. And now, like, what we need to do, like, and that's the time where, where, when we need you to flex your Tyrant skills, Debbie. But we will, like, flex. do our, our, uh, <laughs> our, like, little, like, error section <laughs> together. Okay. So. Yeah, like first thing I like to do is first like adding like all the fields that we uh, have for Prismic. So there's two way like twelve fields. So either like you know uh, the component. So like as you see like here we have a Prismic rich text component, which is like our like component you not know, to render like a rich text field with Prismic. Mm -hmm. But like you as a, a new a newcomer to Prismic, you you don't know like well what what an image like well perhaps it's Prismic image, perhaps it's not Prismic image. Guess, we don't yeah, know. But it could be image or could be IMG yeah. or it could be. Um, and well. To, to help you with that, you can like uh, go to swipe the terminal. To the... Go to the terminal. Lose no, the no, 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 no. <laughs> you, you, you can swipe to Chrome, like where to the to the UI that we were on like just before. Okay. And you, there's a like little shortcut snippets at the top, like a, a checkbox, like right at the top of the screen. Oh. Yeah, and you can hit it, Ooh. and now it will show you. It that. will show you cut snippets yeah. like in context for every field. So, let's so take like this one, copy code. Yeah. And uh, look, you see, this is what developers do. They copy and paste. That's it. Yeah. Oh. And I, <laughs> that's great because I just noticed that we will have like some little thing to fix. <laughs> no, don't tell me. What did we do wrong? No, it's all right. Oh, like you, you did can copy. Wrong. It wasn't me and you. No, no, no. no. We, did, we we have something like to fix because again, like this is our canary version. And what oh, you can see here is that be, this is going to. Um, yeah, we, we, need to, uh, we need to add them as a string, you know, to access yeah. the key in the object. So well, this is like rest of for improvement, but like we can just like translate the key, like you know, with a bracket and like a like having like error image as a string for the first one and CTR like well for the three and like we, we just need to translate them to like a string. Is uh, is that clear or not? No. Um, okay. <laughs> so like when you like we're on our slice, our, all our data are coming from the uh, slice.primary object. You want me to do that? And, right? uh, 
No, <laughs> sorry. And well, this works in Vue, but like when accessing an object, like you, you in JavaScript, you, you're not allowed to use like uh, the iPhone character. Exactly. So it's like a, a, a forbidden character, like when accessing a Which property of an object. Doing that and kind of going so, to yeah, that's why it blows away. So yeah. what we can do to that is like instead of like accessing the key like in uh, in code, like we can have the key as a, a string like inside the bracket, like just like accessing uh, an array index. So if you right after primary, like yeah, you, you yeah, I'm sure I'm sure you will understand. Uh, like, after the primary uh, part in here, okay, okay. Yeah, you, you can put like you can remove the dot and have a bracket. Yep, yeah. right. and you can put a single um, yeah, a single quote. Yep. Well, and we just need to translate that for for like the free field, and like this time it will work. So uh, this this expert. will be fixed for uh, users at home in the next day or so, right? Yeah, we... <laughs> see what I'm doing. This is just like put Debbie under pressure and let's test everything out, <laughs> see what mistakes we have, and then we'll fix it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's like something I, I never like I could tell because I, I don't know. But, well, well, that's something that we will fix. And well, fun thing, like if you want oh, to something. Oh, Lucy, Lucy, Alex is here. Alex, can you get to work and fix this issue, see, please? So I don't have to do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's so uh, that's so uh, we talk between each other. <laughs> And well, we can save our component, and now we can like add back to Storybook, and we should be able to see like every everything that we added to our component. So we have like the previous step. Yep, and here <gasps> we go. My turtle. Look at that, everyone! Look at that, everyone! Isn't he beautiful? Oh wow! There's even like uh, Renault joining. Uh... Renault is our product manager, and well, actually, like if we if we if we have feedback like regarding something that is not working, like we can send them to Renault. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you know, come on, like putting brackets in here, not good, not good. Yeah, <laughs> fix it. <laughs> okay, it. <laughs> so uh, perhaps in Storybook, like for convenience, you can close like the uh, control tab. So at the far right, like there's um, a cross that you can close, like to close the extra tab. Uh, oh, in this... the, uh, yep. Yeah, right here. So we just have like our component. So we just see our and what we, what we can even do is to have it like full screen, like at the top right, there's like a arrow that are expanding. And so we can work like, yep. And we can work like three in isolation in our component right now. Okay. So, well, without further ado, like I think we can now like do some tailwind and like uh, shape that to something that looks like more a uh, section. <laughs> now is it now okay. is in the chat as well. The whole Prismic team are like <laughs> right there live watching. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> okay, no pressure at all. <laughs> we are counting okay. on you, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's make this beautiful. So uh, okay, um, I don't know. Like, how, how do you want to to do it? Like, do you want to do like a like with the text on the side and the image on the other side, or do you want to put like the text on top of the image and uh, that's up to, well, that's up to you. Or I can you send you like the website of Pile as a type. So your other section is similar to that. Yeah. That's I don't up know. to you, David. Um, tell me. Whatever. I mean, I mean, where's our button? I mean, we have like this weird text yep. thing on. We we need to we need to shape it uh, to a button. We will do that with okay. Tywin. Okay. Well, let's so just, uh, let's start with okay, the button, shall we? OK, so with the button, uh, perhaps like the first thing I want to do is to replace my link, which is the button label, with uh, the label that we add from Prismic. So at line 6, we have the access to slice.primary.ctl uh, label, and we can replace, well, we can take that and, we, and to replace my link inside the button. We can even like get rid of the span if we like to, because like, there's a, there's don't, it doesn't Not save any okay. purpose here. Great. Yeah. Okay, great. And now like we can add like Tywin classes like to have it like looks like a, a button. <laughs> I'm not letting you down, folks. <laughs> uh okay, what are we doing? Say that again. Yeah, uh well now we can like add some Tywin classes to this link to look make look make it look like a, a CTA. So um yeah, like uh we want to add like some padding. Um... Oh yeah, border radius, that's also uh, padding like rest, uh, yeah, that's yeah, that's great. Yeah, it's not um, giving me, it's not giving me the tailwind kind of drop down things. Um, mm. Should be, but it's not figuring it out. Uh, it you, you want the color, so it's a text iPhone as uh, iPhone red, I think. Yeah, text red. Yeah, that, that's red. It's not showing. It sh yeah, it should. It should just show up, shouldn't it? It's four hundred. Perhaps I, I don't. I don't. Yeah, perhaps. It... 
Oh, but that's a text. Uh, perhaps you wanted the background. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just I'm just trying to figure out where my Tailwind instruction thing. Simon from Tailwind, where is this? Why is this not working? <laughs> uh, perhaps you can reload the editor to have it uh, showing. That would help. <laughs> Give um, a, a quick reload. Anyway, if, if if it doesn't come up, then I don't remember things. So then you got to go like to the documentation. <laughs> um, and that's like a okay, last resort. So I can you also do? I can also help you with that. Like, just tell me what you what you want, and I will like find the best for I'm just gonna copy you. something. Where is something I can copy? Um, I, I like going into because my my screen is all kind of like um big. It's gone into like the kind of mobile version. So um, yeah. uh, components. So I normally go here, and I steal. Oh. Yeah, but BG That's Red five hundred. Thanks. I actually just want something <laughs> nice, though. I want like I want just look. See this, right? I just want a button, right? Yeah. Uh, that one yep. there. That's gonna do. Exactly. So this is what I do. I steal code. I am not a good developer. I just steal code. <laughs> Show me the code, wow. and then I come along here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can pick every class. And I just take all this. So thank you to whoever made this beautiful component. Um, you're just saving me on a live stream. <laughs> I, I didn't know this website. That's cool. Yeah, I've used it for a lot of demo projects. Just when you want something quick and you want to like throw something in, um, because we don't need to explain what we just did here, right? We just kind of yeah. made something cool. So can I see this? Where do yeah. I see it? In so you can back to Storybook, and we should see it at the bottom. There we go. There we go. You know, it's 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 okay. It's not as good as. Oh, I know, I know, no, 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 I know, I know. There's oh, no, a like what? we need to remove like at line twenty nine. There's there's some steals that we don't need actually. <gasps> We're being overridden. Yeah, so we can remove th yeah. this bit and this should show like nicely now. We can actually just remove that whole thing. Yeah, we can remove Tailwind the whole thing. Like, take over. Like, yeah, and now it should like show like beautifully. Oh, it's... Or, or, or not showing. No, it's, it's, not, it's not, right? It's actually not. Like, I mean, we did it right. First, try, re try refreshing. Can I just check uh, the layouts? Um... Yep. Oh, maybe. Yeah, you're right. Oh yeah, maybe we need to remove that. No, that's that. button. It's button, button. No, they're fine, and we didn't put the class button. Okay, so, yeah. So that's not overriding it. That's okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Tell what are you doing? Let's, Background yeah. red, text white. Let's put a text yeah, but, black. Oh, perhaps it's four hundred, like what, like what they said. Oh, I, I don't know. Yeah. Perhaps there's, perhaps there's some like we have Tailwind. Oh, there we, go, oh yeah. there we go. There we go. There we go. Wait. Great, and as you can see here, like we have like a, a button with a, a label that we didn't input, and like that's that's all coming from our mocks. And there's also like a, a link on it that is also going from our mocks. So that's I think like that's really great because as a developer, like you don't have to worry about like inputting like dummy content. Like we just ship you dummy content, so you can keep on working on your website. Okay. Oh, hang on, uh, hang on. Yeah. Tell me. Sorry, I just got. Yeah, I'm in a I'm in a live stream live, so you're live on air if you talk to me in this room. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just Discord. Discord just went live, so uh, sure. <laughs> that's what happens when you have Discord open. Okay, anything goes wrong when you go live. Um, okay, so um, we are. So now we need like to shape the rest of the hero section. So perhaps like I don't know if there's like some hero section themed uh, component on your on our website for well for stealing code on the Tailwind website. I don't know. Or we or we can like do it like quickly. I, I think uh, I you know. Can we just like one. find another component? What are we doing? Oh, I I think like um. Want a hero? Right. So there we go. Let's oh, there's a hero. This one. one. Yep. That one's quite nice, wow. isn't it? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Show me the code. OK. OK, they're cheating a bit. But... OK. I'm uh... Did you just say I'm cheating? No, I, 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 I like I just I just looked at the art coded background image. So I said, <laughs> <laughs> so we want to take the background image. Can we do that like that and add the prismic image in there? No, we can't. Can yep. we? Yeah, we, we can. can. Uh, yeah, we should be able to do so. We can try that. Let me have a look. So I'm just copying code from Tailwind Components website. Yeah. So uh, this needs to be added on this website either. Oh, you see, I rock. I show it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's cool. It's uh, so this needs to be added at this section, I think. Like at yes. the well, on the wrapper component. Okay. And I don't. And okay. We want and to take now the we need. Viewer. 
voilà. To replace the URL, yep. Uh, and here, what we need to do is to have like, uh, yes, yeah, the slice.primary dot the error image, yep. Okay. Yep. And here. Yep, and you need to vbind, I think. Uh, like, uh, like because like right now it it acts as a string, and I think like we now it's the whole uh, like the whole style attribute. I think you need, we need to vbind. Because right now we are in the background image, so it doesn't like like it. We need to what 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 I was I was reading. Okay. Was uh, so... I'm reading, I'm reading the chat at the same time. I'm yeah, to... <laughs> I I know it's, that is so hard. <laughs> Uh, so we need like we don't need like the semicolon here. Um, oh, sorry, 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 yeah. sorry, sorry. I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay. Yeah, and we can remove the semicolon here. And I think we need to have it inside an object because like right now it's whining at us because it's a CSS string. Yep. Oops. Yeah, we don't need the semicolon. Yep, we don't need this one. And we need like to. Uh, Camel case if I has a background image, like to remove the iPhone and to put a capital E because like it's not liking it again on the CSS property. Yep. Yep. And last thing we need to do is to also like turn the URL thing into a string, like a template string with the JavaScript, like with the back back like the whole uh, URL declaration. No, the oh, sorry. <laughs> like the whole, yep, this one. Like the whole thing. Right to the uh, yeah, after the parentheses. After the parentheses. Yeah, again. Okay. Okay. No, just after. <laughs> ah. after. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Perfect. Yeah. Yes, yes, right. And now we we need to escape uh, the uh, slice dot primary thing. Like uh, yeah, at slice in the dollar uh, bracket. Yep. And at the end, yeah, yep, here. Okay. And the last thing we need to do is to add dot URL to it because like not to access the image inside it uh, before uh, the uh, curly bracket. Yep. Okay. Great. Watch me so start for we... everyone. Let me save that. That was that was making. Right. Did we succeed? I think I think it's working out right now. We should have like uh, our image as a background image. Okay. So the only thing really extra we added was the dot URL, right? Yep. And this will go in here. And oh, I'm in the wrong one. No, and... Very good. Woohoo! Okay, we've got a bit of repeating <laughs> thing going on there, yeah. but we have text on our image. <laughs> that rocks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now we can, I think we can get, well, what's the next thing I'm going to do? Uh, we can get back to the code, I think. Get back to the code. Okay. Uh, to this code, sorry. Yeah. Yep. And we can remove the image field, uh, the image on oh, line yeah, yeah, eight, yeah, yeah, because yeah. Like, yeah. We, we have it as a back, line eight. We have it as a background right now. Okay. And the last thing that we need to do perhaps is like to add um, text center to us to our section to center the text. Yeah, in the in this title. section uh, class name, I think. Uh, title won't work. Uh, oh, perhaps it, yeah, it will work because it's yeah. an H one. Yeah. Um, what are we doing? Uh, text center. If we want to center it. Yep, and the uh, same goes margin? for. Uh, yep. I mean, we should and just. Oh, look at that. Yeah. That made my, my image. Yeah. I lost my turtle. No, that's not perfect. <laughs> no, like, well, <laughs> we can like, uh, like other thing after. Um, OK, great. Uh, perhaps we want to have it like bigger so we can have like text uh, freeze XL or something like that. Three X, yeah, five pixel. That works. Uh, so we have a big title. We can have a text center on the, uh, on the description also. Sorry, description. Yeah. Get over there. Why mm -hmm. did you not do what you, I told you to do? I did spell that right, didn't I? No, there's no S. Look at that. Yeah, great. There we go. Great. Uh, maybe we want to have uh, both of them uh, appeared as white, so it's text white. Yeah. Oh, we think so fast at the same as well. <laughs> <laughs> no margin, aye, aye, aye. JS yeah, JS like we, we are talking with. Okay. Oh, yeah, man. No, it's. Yeah, well, that didn't work this way. Yeah. Okay. And now we need to center the button. So uh, to do that, we'll do like uh, MX also. I think that should yeah. be enough. 
Anyone who doesn't know Tailwind, um, you uh, can um, learn it because it's cool. Yeah. Uh, I and put the margin have this, yeah. I think it's in nine blocks then. Or, or to also add in nine block because like right now it's uh displayed in nine. It's just in nine, isn't it? Like, no, in nine block. Like it's, it's already in nine, I think. I didn't do what it meant. Uh, okay, so just block them. <laughs> but uh, no, no block will mess it, I think. Is it is it not to do it because I have these margin X and then mm, I've got no that's I, I don't think I don't have so. a margin here, do I know? No, okay. What's well, the scenario? What we can do is we can like wrap it inside the div and have it the div text center. And we're moving like the MX auto thing uh, that we added. You want text center, you want flex? Uh, text center. Well, flex also would have worked. Yeah. Okay, please make a link. Bam, bam, bam. And we can, uh, and we remove. Yeah. Oh, okay. now we're kind of a little oh, bit, you know, hew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we need to remove the uh, the block thing. Uh, the C block. No, there's a, like created the block on line 17 uh, to make this element appear as a block. Ah, remove this. And, yep. Right, and this maybe. Yay! Yay! And we could. And last. Sorry. Uh, what we need to do right now? Eight. Margin top eight. Yeah, that this won't work, I think, because it's a uh, display in line, and because it's in line, we can add this to the wrapper if we want to. Yep. Yay! Right. Look at that. Uh, That's so nice. Uh, <laughs> and that last thing we might want to do is to add like some uh, <laughs> overall padding to our uh, section. So like we can, like, so the button is not like at the bottom. So like uh, at line three, we can add like some padding, uh, padding Y. Uh, yeah, padding Y and like four, I don't know. In which section? In the uh, li li line three, like for like in oh, the global section, like con yeah. in the global container, like we might want to add like some padding like up and down, so we don't like have something like two on the edge. Padding yep. four. Yay! And well, <laughs> design wise, think... it can it can be improved, but like we're getting cool. somewhere definitely. It's cool. It's cool. And okay. basically, like what we what we did right now is like we configured our first like website section. Yeah, like we like the idea that with the website like you you do you do a lot of them like you you do your best like to fit the design that you recite from a designer, and uh, well once you configure the section like that's the last part of the workflow we can add to um, the um, slice machine UI so that's the UI on the tab right after, next to storybook. Yeah, here yeah, what we can do uh, you can scroll up to get to see the uh, sidebar on this side. Like we have, we have uh, a Tailwind expert in the house who is not going to be happy unless we delete the okay. margin of the button. There's no margin and add the, the padding button. instead. <laughs> yeah. Well, the the, the, the the MX auto doesn't mean anything here. That's right. But well, yeah. Like this one doesn't act because like the button is displayed in line, and I think like that. Well, this doesn't change anything. Uh, if we get back to storybook. There we go, there yeah. we go, there we go. Florence happy now. We can we can we can continue. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, like back here, like scroll up to the top of the page. Yeah, and we can take another snapshot of our component. Ooh. Like if you over the if you over the image. Here? Okay, no, no, uh, up, sorry. <laughs> like if you over the image, like you can take a screenshot of it again. Take a screenshot. Yeah. Screenshot. So okay. Take it another time. We go like <laughs> sometime, uh, sometimes well, it doesn't it. work, right? Sometimes it doesn't work. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't work because like <laughs> I, I I don't really know why it doesn't work. Sometimes I just okay. it, uh, it struggles. So like if you move your mouse and uh, out and in, like you should be able like to retake a screenshot. And if you're not able to, that's not an issue. Do I just keep pressing it until it works? Yeah, that's what yeah. I do. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, I guess like, well, no big deal. Like there's like something okay. going on with our screenshot here. just pretend that that works and that actually shows it, you know. E exactly. Okay. <laughs> okay. And <laughs> now what we can do is like, we, we should be able like to push the confirm to Prismic. So like the blue button now show to push push to Prismic, right? Oh, okay. Oh, yep. sorry. That so was behind will... our heads, everyone. But that's yeah. Impressed. So we are pushing it to Prismic. Okay. Uh, this should have worked. Yep. This worked. <gasps> uh, it is. And now, like for the first time, well, to wrap this up, like for the first time, we can add to Prismic Prismic IO, Prismic .io the, well, the 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 backend of Prismic, and we will be able like to use these slices inside our comp inside our component, okay. inside our inside our document. Sorry. So yeah, like add to Prismic .io. Where's that? 
uh, you need to open another tab. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> tab, right, right, right. Yeah, maybe we should add like some kind of like uh, get to the repository the button. button. Yeah. Here. Yep. Oh. So that's that's that, that's a nice idea. Ah, so yeah, we can add to prismic.io. So welcome to Prismic. Like this is like our website, and that yes. this is where you will log in to like edit your content. Now and you can, my, my and now we can log in using our credentials that we got earlier. Yay, right? I remembered wow. it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's up to you. It prompt, well, first time login, like it prompts us for our, like, our just our first name, last name, like this. Oh, just to, no, point. I am. That's okay. There we go. That's who I am, yeah. everyone. That's in order like to have your name in the personalized emails that we'll send you because you we also have your email now, so we have your name, so you can put like hi Davy. <laughs> email, so yeah. <laughs> and well, you already you already did a tweet, but like remember at the beginning with the Prismic CLI, we created um sign up here, go away. <laughs> we created we created a, a repository inside Prismic and Debbie already like entered it. So this is like our pre repository inside Prismic, a repository inside a repository. A repository inside Prismic is just like a place uh, where you store like all your content related to this well repository, just like GitHub, but well, that's like write and content for editorial. And now what we can add, like this is like the dashboard itself. Okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> we managed to know CSS. So this is a dashboard. So like on the first tab, it's like the document tab. So right now, because it's a new repository, we don't have any document, but we can add to custom types. This is the second button that you were, yep, exactly. And yeah, you have to choose like either it's a repeatable type, like if it's a blog post or something like that, or it's not a repeatable type, like it fits like a setting page or something like that. So we will create a repeatable type and we'll name it page. Great, we can create the new custom type. And now, well, there's like the lead, well, you are like you are you're like in a more like regular like uh, content modeling thing like like but similar like to any headless CMSs or like to uh, advanced custom feed on WordPress and here you can add feeds but like this, this is not something that we need to do right now because we already did that earlier so again like what we did earlier we created the content model of uh, of our website section in Prismic it's called a slice so what we can do we can enable the slice zone so like at the around like the middle of the screen there's like a little on off switch. Uh, oh, just like yes. in the, yeah. And so this will enable the slice zone and here we can add a slice. So here what, and yeah, so this will prompt a small UI with like default slice, but we need to add to the shell slices uh, tab on the top. Yes. And here we have yes. the hero <laughs> with the right image. <laughs> and we can add it to a custom types. Okay. Now we can, we can save. Save, 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 save. Over the top. Uh, at the top, right. And what, what what we just did here, like we did the content modeling of our page, saying like basically, okay, on this type of page, I want my content editor to be able to add to have this website section, this website section, this website section. Well, if you have multiple, you have that. But here we just have one, so we just added the hero. So we, we just said that on on document of type pages, like we content editor will be able to add uh, this website section to it. Okay. And now, like just to like show you, but like we almost done that for it. Uh, we can get back to our uh, to our repository at the top left of the screen. There's the top left. left. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's the back arrow. Yep. Okay. And now we, we can add back to the first tab on the right on the left. Sorry, uh, it's a document tab. Yeah. And now we can create a new uh, a new document with the pencil thing. Okay. Yep. And. Well, we are in a new document. And again, like, yeah, what I said is that you are about, like, as a content, well, this is like the content editor expense. And as a content editor, you are about, like, to compose a website, a page using, like, the sections that developer built for you. So, yeah, again, we have the error, which is the website that we built together. So we can pick it. <laughs> the expense could be improved. It's really nice uh, for state machine. <laughs> You got feedback. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Again, as I said at the beginning, like this is a, a sneak peek at the like the canary version of the workflow Prismic. So those bugs were expected and like there's still a, a room for improvement. Yeah. But that's like the workflow that we're building toward. So okay, cool. we can we can select the error. Like the hero. yeah. Right. Yeah. So like we say like as a content editor, I want to use this section here. And here, boom, we just have like all the fields that we configured earlier on the uh, dev UI. 
And now we can like feel like React content as a content editor. <laughs> yeah, well, and basically like you get oh, like yeah, a content, content yeah. editing UI with like default uh, value, etc. And now like, well, like this is like, we just have one component, but what we could have said like as a content editor right now is you, we can have it plus again, like the plus button, like as well as the opposite button. And you could have said, okay, so after this error section, I want like uh, a testimonial section that okay, we, okay, we could okay. have it and, and so on and so on. Yep. So this will, well, when we think that this like empower the content editor to like shape the page the way, the way that like to have them shaped without like needing developers. And well, well, I like, the UI is quite like straightforward. Are you basically saying developers going to be out of a job because you're just going to do everything in here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and well, that's that's it, I guess. Like, well, and from here, like, you'll be able like to query this content, like, it's in your next application. And but this is what so this is. Yeah, we need to start finishing up. So I want to finish up by actually seeing it in my Nux and what I'm used to actually being able to see. Oh, um, okay. So how do I get my hero? Well, my hero's here, right? I just have to actually. Okay. Okay, um, yeah. Uh, okay, so I can show you this really quickly. Uh, okay, so get back to Prismic, please. Oh, it's not reading the terminal. <laughs> no, that's all right. Okay, <laughs> okay. so you can like uh, get back uh, on the top left of the page. Yeah, you don't want me to publish, no? Uh, not yet, because we, we need to add a little thing like before. Okay. You can get back, you can get back to the custom type uh, tab on the right, on the left, sorry, yep, just under. Yep, and now you can edit our page custom type. We need to add one field that is well that is missing for now. Um, yep, like the top on the on the sidebar there's like the UID field. This is the first one uh, okay. on the sidebar. We need to drag this one. The UID field is like a slug, so it's like a unique identifier for a document yes. mm -hmm. that we need like to fill. So you can just like call it slug or UID. That's like really, really doesn't like important. Uh, okay. Yep, that works. We can save it again. I think you should change the color of your save button. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now, now we need just to get back to our document to add a, a simple like uh, UID to it. So at the top left of the screen, we get back to the to the document tab. Yeah. So yeah, the, now the first tab on the right. Yeah, on the left again. I yeah. <laughs> keep missing this one. I know. Okay, now we get back to our draft. Okay. Great. And we now just add comes. like, uh, no, no, we need like no, to add a. Uh, was required, right? So, yeah, we need to add like a slug for the So we can call it home, for example. Like this is the home page of our website. Just, just here? Yep. You can just call it home. And, and now we can save it. and publish. And what's the I do? Can I press the I? Uh, not, well, the not I is the not working, right? No, <laughs> no, it's, no. Uh, okay. <laughs> The like the I is a preview feature of Prismic. Unfortunately, we we won't have time today to show it okay, to you okay. or like okay, well. Published. We published. We've gone. Okay. So it's published, and now we can get like, back I, to next. I like the way yeah. that it's gone from yellow to green and stuff. I think that's that's really nice. Well done. That's yeah. good. Okay. Like, this is a stable version of Prismic, like this part, like uh, online. Yes. So. Like, <laughs> Okay, and now we can get back to our code, like to launch the next, to launch the website. Well, we need to configure our page quickly, but yeah. So you can add to the pages the index.view component. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you can delete everything. Uh, really everything, like all the, all the, whole, uh, the whole file. The whole file? Yeah, no worries. Okay, <laughs> so now you, now you will input, a, well, you will add a, a template back. I, I don't know. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Great. Uh, inside the template, uh, you just need like to add one component. Do we need yeah, a script tag? Uh, we need a script tag to add our to just import a component inside it. I added the TypeScript one by accident. Yeah. No worries. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we we import it first. So the first thing you need to do is to import a uh, slice zone from view slice zone. Import, import and it's, it's slice zone, so with a capital S. Yep. Well, that's works also. Yep. From view iPhone slice zone. Uh, we don't need actually to have a cat to capitalize it. Yep. This one. And we need just need to register it inside our component. 
I know there's like next component going around, but like I, I'm not really sure how it works to some extent. Yeah, <laughs> so we'll do it to, like the. You'd have to. Um, what did I do wrong? Is that not how you do yeah, it? Yeah, I think you need a capital Z also. Um, you'd have to put it in the in the components. Yeah, and you need to put it in the components. So that yeah. Nux can crawl it. Great. Um, and I, I don't know if I'm doing anything. Right no, and no, 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 it's winning so because it's not it. present in the template. Yep. Yeah. So we just need to use it. Hey, what am I doing? Yep. Slide zone, and we need to See, pass it to prop. So automatic, so that's why I don't even know how to do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to pass it to props. The first one is type, so it's the type of the of the page of the custom type that you want to query. So we cre recreated the page, so type is page. Yeah. And the second one is the UID of the con the second attribute is going to be the UID. So the UID was home. That was the UID that we set. Yeah. Okay, we can save that. Okay. And now we can launch. We can launch next. Finally, Finally. I get to see more nooks in action. It's like, <laughs> let's do a. Okay, okay. Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Did we get it on the application localhost three thousand? Let's go. Yeah. And it opened up on another window for some reason. So I'm just going to open it up here. Um. I think I actually already had it running here anyway. Now it's going to go twice. No, we killed it at the beginning, remember? <laughs> uh, we did. But it's it's not loading. Let me go back to... Um... Well, it's uh, just still loading. OK, now it's gone. Now it's done. We can like uh, open it. <laughs> patience, Debbie, patience. <laughs> Woo Look, OK, so my image is a little bit... Um... OK. Uh, 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 <laughs> whoa, that's weird. Um, oh yeah, well yeah, of course. Like the image that we picked is not like a beautiful turtle, so it's like it's messing up. But like if you, well, we have a lot of content here. <laughs> yeah, I change I changed the image to. Uh, and and we are, and we also didn't add like a value for the link button, so it's like empty right now. But well. Is it as easy to just literally? Oh, that's the wrong one. To go in here yep. and, and do something like so. This yeah, is the yeah, image we can like, added, right, and we don't want that yep. size. Can we change the size? Yep, you can eat like at the like that's the but yep, this one. <laughs> like the crop and resize. Okay. So if um, you want to focus on it, something. Um I don't know, yeah, hundred yeah. by oh well, that's just gonna crop the image. Well that's yep. okay, let's just crop them. There we go. Let's get ahead. Maybe on, on the pants so we get like to uh, some background crop because I think this image is transparent. Okay, we'll just get the trousers. <laughs> <laughs> I picked the worst image to do this. Okay. Um, no, that's save. Okay. How do I save? What do I do? What do I do? Uh, you just escape. Oh. That's all right. That's mm. like... Okay. Okay. So okay, we've got like great. trousers. That's great. Um, yeah. And now we add a, a, a text or a, a text uh, okay. like the label. This is a button. And it's going to go to. Oh, what did I do here? Yeah. So I'm you. Well, it. it yep. It prompts you one kind of link so you can link to another document. The document is inside mid. us, right? And we'll go to the web. Yep. Exactly. And let's go to. Um, Let's go to the Prismic website. <laughs> That's right. <awesome. laughs> and here we go, here we go, here we go. Link to this page, open a new tab, of course. Um, yep. I can save. Save. It's going to go green, it's going to go green. No, it's not until I publish. Publish. That's yep. good because I always forget to publish things. Publish it now. Yes, publish. Publish me. And um, and now we can get back to our next dev and, and, and refresh. refresh. And yay, look at that. It's ugly <laughs> as hell. But yeah, yeah. We, we, we're, not, we're not on the eye on design today, I but like Prismic. it's working. <laughs> that, that's our point. <laughs> and that's like the workflow that we're running Oof. with Prismic right now. That was full on. So basically, in one hour and 15 minutes, we built um, a hero component. Um, with everything through a CMS, and we used Nuxt for only like two minutes of the whole an hour and 15 minutes. That's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Did you say you love Nuxt? <laughs> well, that's because in the, in the, uh, it, 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 oh, it integrates well with Nuxt, but yeah, like the workflow is around like view and like making you like building components. So it abstracts a lot of like all of it. No, but for sure, for you, sure. You, you, you still get to, to do a lot of next, like once you get to like build like a full blown website. <laughs> no, it's definitely, it's very cool. It's very cool to see and how you can easily like edit the content and then bang, it's just there. Like I'm editing the content 
somewhere else and it's it's no it's very it's very interesting to see it's very well done um where can people continue from here right after they've made this hero component what do you recommend they can go from here okay so if you like the workflows that we've built right now you can check out uh, the next documentation on prismic which has like a lot of like tutorials and like how to get like in depth with this workflow and while well, getting started to use prismic that way i don't know if i'm able to send link in the chat but like perhaps it went through i don't know uh -huh. but yeah i sent you like the next year's documentation of prismic so you can like like well, yeah, get to feed yourselves and like uh, have like uh, another kind of risk on your side, but still like helpful to what you get through it. Did you put it in the main chat? <laughs> yep, on the uh, but first time I was not allowed to send link. Oh, I'm not sure. It, have you got the YouTube thing open? No, because I don't have. Yep, I, I put it on YouTube. You did? Oh, okay, it just hasn't come true yet. Or sometimes they don't let you. Sometimes YouTube doesn't let you send links. No, I, I think it, it prevented me to send it. But well, uh, okay. I don't know. Well, it's on the Prismic website, right? On the Prismic website. Yep. So um, you you go to prismic.io forward slash docs and there's like a next button. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, this okay. has been really, really cool. Um, I don't know if I'm convinced enough to convert my whole website to Prismic. That's going to take ages. Um, <laughs> would it take ages? Yeah, well. That? Uh, well, me, yeah, I built it the uh, first time with Prismic, so well, that was my well, that was what I wanted. Uh, yeah. But um, um, yeah, like moving to Prismic doesn't take much time. Like the question is, like, do you want to be move to Prismic because, like, is it like the workflow that you want to work yeah. on, like as a developer? Like again, like Prismic is like a less CMS is like for content editors. So like as a developer, perhaps it's not like the solution that you'd like to. Like me, I know I like it. I like it because like I have the, the Prismic preview, which I find really useful and that yeah. we don't have time to show today, but first like another day we should use the Prismic preview. And uh, well, I like my workflow with Prismic. If you like your workflow with Next Content, that's all right. But like there's some teams that where you don't have choice and you have to like bring them an editor or like something like for yeah. them to work on. So hence like a CMS like Prismic. And you can always have a mix, right? So I can have one page that's going from Prismic and the other from Nux Content, depending. So maybe my blog exactly, posts, yeah. so someone can help me edit it and, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think Tim Benix did some like mismatch with Nux, Nux Content okay. and Prismic. Cool. cool. Uh, very cool. Um, there's a question there. Can you set user permissions in Prismic or who can edit and publish what content? Yeah, you, you can You can like have a world-based access control on Prismic uh, at higher tier and all. You can like mm -hmm. have that. Uh, running on your website, yep. Excellent. So this has been really, really, really cool. Um, I certainly learned a lot. I learned that I don't need to use Nuxt to build a Nuxt application <laughs> <I learned> today. <laughs> um, which is very good as well if you're like, you know, not a very good developer, you can kind of like really get on board very quickly, which is also very beneficial, I think, as well. It's a good way of learning. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, thanks so much, Lucy, for showing me. And we're going to do more stuff in the future, right? And uh, we'll, we'll connect yeah. again and we'll go further and go deeper because it's a really cool product and it's fun. And everyone else out there, um, follow Lucy on Twitter and uh, you'll hear loads of cool and exciting things. And the Prismic meetup as well, where they kind of like go over the product is really cool. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, just um, play around with Prismic and learn lots of cool stuff with Nuxt. You can only use it with Nuxt. I'm only about <laughs> you, can, you can use it with Next as well, can't you? Am I right? Yeah, you, well, you can use Prismic with anything. Like it's yeah, just so at go. the end of the day, it's just a REST API. <laughs> so yeah, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I just but have yeah, to thanks. Nuxt, right? <laughs> yeah, well, of course, like if you're using it with Nuxt, you get bonus bonus point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Well, I think that's it from us. Uh, thank you everyone in the chat. It's been absolutely fantastic seeing you all. And um, yeah, we will be back again with more in the future. So take care, everyone. Sure. Cheers.